Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. For today's second video, that's going to take us to around the 7th of December. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and E7 ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. And we'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video, uh, which takes us just short of Christmas. So I'll get on that for you very shortly. The 5D forecast has been released though, so uh, if you'd like to have a look at that when you're done with uh, this video, um, have me a detailed look at weather the next five days. And uh, we're starting off mild and wet, but we're going to become colder and drier. We will extend out beyond the 5D forecast period for this uh, second video update. We're going to begin with the Arctic and North Atlantic Oscillation Observed and Forecast chart. So the black line here shows where we've been with the Arctic Oscillation. The red lines at the end where GFS ensembles are forecasting the Arctic Oscillation to go. Remember, it's just an index that's reflecting the atmospheric state. It's not driving anything you know, in its own terms. It just tells us what the atmosphere is doing. So when the Arctic Oscillation is in its positive phase, you'll have low pressure up over the pole. At this time of year, that will typically be uh, where the cold air is kept, locked in over the Arctic and the North Pole. However, when the Arctic Oscillation is negative, you will usually have high pressure over the pole and the Arctic, and you will push cold air out of the pole and down into the mid-latitude. So a negative AO is kind of like a blocking signal. Now, at the moment, the Arctic Oscillation is weakly negative just here. It has been quite negative throughout the whole of November, uh, actually. Uh, we're weak, weakly negative at the moment. For the next couple of days, we're going to stay weakly negative. But then we get this huge lift-up, very dramatic lift-up in the Arctic Oscillation by the time we get through to the beginning of December. Uh, and through the first week of December. So that tells us that uh, we're seeing a lot of low pressure developing up over the Arctic um, through the early part of uh, December. However, very quickly, the AO is dropping back down again. So um, by the time you get through to the second week of December, most of the GFS ensemble members have taken the Arctic Oscillation back to neutral type uh, territory. So uh, a dramatic sort of lift up in the AO and then a big drop down uh, coming through the first uh, couple of weeks of December. Quite sort of unusual to see um, such a dramatic lift up, take off and then drop down uh, so quickly. That's probably going to be the most positive the AO has been since last winter. The NAO observed and forecast chart is the same idea. So the black line showing where we've been with the NAO. Red line something the air where GFS ensembles are forecasting the NAO to go. So the NAO has been in a prolonged negative phase since the spring, since the last week of April. We have had a few weeks here and there where it's gone a bit more positive. Uh, but overall, the NEO has been in a prolonged negative phase. Where we are with the NEO right now, just there, still negative. Uh, however, through to the early part of December, it looks like the NEO is going positive. In fact, that will probably be the most positive that the NEO has been since March or April. Um, possibly a bit of a drop down there, back towards neutral by the time we get through to the second week of December. That's extended rain stuff. But we have got both of the indexes going into positive territory quite strongly so through the first week or two of um, December. So this is a signal for milder conditions, more Atlantic-driven and westerly-type conditions uh, likely to be seen over the fall across the North Atlantic and into Europe through the first week or two of December. Before we get to that, though, we are going to have a little bit of a cold snap. Means there'll be GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of couple of weeks. We're looking at Scarborough today. So this is another suggested location for this section of video. If you'd like to have your local town or city feature within this part of the video, then please uh, let us know through either the comments at Gazovids or via our social media, Facebook and Twitter accounts. Or of course, you can email us at gazovids at gmail.com. We're always happy to feature your local town or city within this part of the video. So where we're at right now is um, still a little bit milder than average. It is pretty mild today. Day. And for the south will be tomorrow, and it'll start turning cold in the north time. It's all covered by a 5 day forecast, of course. By the end of the week into the weekend, we have quite a cold snap appearing there. So um, we're going to go pretty cold at the end of the week, through the weekend into the early part of next week. Then the temperature through the middle and latter stages of next week, lifting up. 
And then after that, moving from the first week into the second week of December, it basically looks like we're close to average. Uh, then not a particularly big deviation either way. Much drier weather coming up as well. So we have got rainfall spikes uh, for today and possibly lasting into tomorrow as well. But once that's out of the way, we are going into a much more prolonged dry spell than we've had for quite some time. That's quite some time. That is around a week of dry weather that's showing up there from uh, around sort of 29th of November to around the 5th or 6th of December. That's an extended spell of dry weather, but it doesn't last into a second week of December. We start to see the precipitation spikes coming back again. So signs that it's turning more unsettled into the second week of uh, December as the westerlies begin to return, of course. However, colder and drier for a few days. Don't have the anomaly maps again today. They haven't been updated. So we will move straight on to the generic charts. This is the GFS for Saturday. Showing high pressure reaching through the coach on Saturday. Bring dry and cold weather with it. This high pressure continues through to the early part of next week. This will cover by 5D forecast. Of course, we've got a 1,035 millibar area of high pressure right over top of the country there for Monday. So it's been a long time since we've seen such a big ridge as that. It will bring a lot of dry weather through the uh, through weekend into next week. Uh, but it will be cold. The air underneath that high is going to be cold. There'll be hard overnight frost. And by early next week, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some freezing fog getting mixed in with that high too. The high is still with us on Tuesday. Uh, still with us, really, for England and Wales, anyway, on Wednesday. Just to turn a bit more unsettled across Scotland on Wednesday and milder with that uh, westerly wind. But it's not really until the end of the week that we start to begin to pull this high pressure away from us into the Atlantic. Although, even there, you'll see that it is still quite dominant across England and Wales. So, for England and Wales next week, actually, it could turn out to be a little bit colder than you might think, given the... Uh, GFS on summers because although the upper air temperatures will be lifting up next week it's possible we might be stuck under this ridge and if we start getting fog becoming widespread then that will limit the potential the temperature potential however further north by the end of next week we are back into this flat westerly flow certainly quite a lot milder for Scotland into more extended range at day 10 we start to drive in this area of low pressure from the northern part of the Atlantic that really shakes things up this is Saturday 7th of December day 10 that really starts to shake things up bring heavy rain across the country and then as push of sort of gale uh, gale force winds there uh, up to the northern part of the country anyway and then to the extended range, the uh, GFS run goes more unsettled with low pressure driving in off the Atlantic through the second week of December. As far as we can get to with the GFS today is Friday the 13th of December. And uh, yeah, we're looking unsettled then with westerly winds bringing showers along as well as rain for all parts of the country. This is the GM. So dry and cold over the weekend into the early part of next week. This low is proving a bit of a pain. It's uh, close to the south, or closer to the south than the GFS has it. Might bring some rain into southern counties uh, over the weekend. Eventually, though, we do finish up under that area of high pressure by the early part of next week. It's mainly dry and cold for England and Wales. By Tuesday, as early as Tuesday, it is turning milder, though up across Scotland, and then through the course of next week, we go into these west or northwesterly winds. They are mild, they bring the air in off the Atlantic, probably a lot of cloud with them. That's how we look at day 10 with the GM, Thursday the 7th of December. So then bringing a cold front across the country, that's taking outbreaks of rain with it, and then turning um, colder and showery, following along behind with winds turning into the northwest to north. That'll bring wintry showers into Scotland. Uh, ECMWF looks like that. So once again, mainly dry on uh, Saturday, dry and cold. That low pressure is more towards the Bay of Biscay from Saturday to Sunday, so shouldn't really threaten much rain, except perhaps very far southwest of England, most places dry and cold into the early part of next week. High pressure rain centres itself over the country, <coughs> excuse me, through, the, to, through to the middle part of next week. That would bring a lot of dry and cold weather to England and Wales. Scotland and Northern Ireland, the Westleys are running in over top of the high. That will bring more cloud and some showery rain to Scotland, also milder temperatures. Second half of next week, we all go milder as that high begins to pull away from us into the Atlantic. So bringing in a westerly wind, which is milder for all of us, through the second half of next week. 
probably a cold front taking a band of rain across the country and then a little bit cold with that northwesterly feeding in showers. That's how we look at day 10, which is Saturday, the 7th of December. Looks like we're probably about to tilt wind into the north there. Could run on another 24 hours. I think we'll probably get a bit of a northerly snap. Um, bring colder air, certainly to Scotland. So the idea is very much that it's dry and cold for England Wales early next week. Turns milder in the north by the middle of next week. All areas should be turning milder. And then in the second half of next week, it's milder but unsettled. But by the weekend of like 7th, 8th of December, we're probably going colder and showery once again. These are the options that are on the table within the ECM Ensembles today for day 10, which gets us, of course, to the uh, 7th of December. So you have 29 members of the ECM Ensembles, including the control and the operational run. Operational run is the run we're just looking at, of course, that have low pressure to our northeast, high pressure out to the west. They're unsettled and quite cold, bring winds in from the northwest, cold and showering. Uh, with those 22, these ones just here, have low pressure more towards the north of Scotland, high pressure closer to Ireland, a little bit more settled and milder with those as winds are kind of like from a westerly to southwesterly direction. Two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, which does get us, get us of course, to be 12th of uh, December. So we have 15 members of the ECM Ensembles looking very, very unsettled indeed. Deep low pressure over the country. So uh, they're really unsettled with those. 13 with low pressure to our east, high pressure out to the northwest. They're quite showery and colder. The winds will be coming in from the north. 12 with low pressure over and just ever so slightly to our east. So um, they're very unsettled and quite cold as well. Some high pressure up towards Greenland. And then 11 with low pressure out to the northwest. So that's very unsettled, but they're milder, bringing winds from the southwest. A little bit inconclusive by the time you get to two weeks out. But it looks like most of the options are favouring unsettled conditions. It just depends whether it's mild and unsettled or rather cold and unsettled. Uh, these are the uh, CFS V2500 Bilbao height anomalies to finish off with. So these are broken down into uh, weekly periods. The first weekly period will take us from the 27th of November to the 3rd of December. The coming week has above average heights out to our northwest, below average heights to our east northeast. Um, and we're bringing winds from quite a chilly sort of northerly, northeasterly direction. So mainly settled with high pressure dominating, but uh, quite cold, especially initially. All changed for week two, which is before to the 10th of December, with low pressure up to the north and high pressure is down to our south southwest. This is more unsettled, of course, but also milder as we bring the winds in from off the Atlantic Ocean. Week 3 is the 11th to the 17th of December, looking unsettled with low pressure out to our west. Ridge of high pressure building over Scandinavia, and low pressure is developing through the central med. So that will be having a go. Again, the wind into the east, actually, there, um, through that uh, middle part of December. However, for us, I think the low pressure out to the west is just fending that off. Probably, it probably leaves us mild and uh, unsettled. But it is a little bit of a battleground scenario, perhaps, that could be building up there. So uh, there might be uh, fronts that become rather slow moving. That could be a suggestion of really wet weather, perhaps. And then into week four, which is the 18th to the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, we find that low pressure is still in control, sitting over to west west. We do still have this ridge lurking up to our northeast, but up to Christmas Eve, this CFS run wants to keep that to high pressure up towards Scandinavia and northern Russia at bay. So any cold weather with that is kept away to the northwest, and we keep driving in winds from off, off the Atlantic, looking mild and wet there up to Christmas Eve. So, it looks like we're definitely going to have some settled weather. That's the good news. If you've had enough of all this rain, I think most of us have, and the incessant, gloomy, cloudy, uh, nasty, uh, overcast skies that we've had for weeks on end, things will be brightening up at the end of the week and into the weekend. We will see some sunshine. It's going to be colder, but it will be sunnier and drier. And these colder and drier conditions last into the early part of next week, possibly into the middle part of next week for England and Wales, although probably an increasing risk of fog 
uh, through the course of next week. Further north, turns milder and wetter by the middle of next week in the northern part of the country, and then that extends to all parts of the country in the second half of next week. Possibly back to something a little bit colder and more showery again for that weekend of 7th, 8th of December. And beyond that, I think the suggestion within the ensemble output and various other things is probably for the second week of December to be quite unsettled back into Atlantic driven pretty wet conditions perhaps returning for the second week of December. We shall see about that. Right, so that's it for your uh, second video update uh, for today. In fact, that's it for all of today's video updates. Tomorrow, we'll have, we'll have another week 10-day video update. I think we're going to have a look at the JMA seasonal model tomorrow. That'll probably be the first video up tomorrow. Have a look at the three-month forecast from the JMA. That will cover winter, of course, December, January, February. And I think we have another Christmas update penciled in for tomorrow night. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.